Hi, good morning, Mustache Wheelers. How are you today? Uh, a very uh, rainy morning and afternoon. It's going to be afternoon. So today we are here with the new facelift Saga, and uh, quickly we're gonna do a review for Saga and see uh, what's what's new in this and what was not there before. First of all, if you start from the back, uh, the basic shape is already there, but uh, you can see one reverse camera over here, uh, which is new in this Premium S model, and this is a Premium S variant. Then we have this black piano black proton uh, cover, we have this spoiler, uh, we have uh, parking sensors you can see on the bumpers, then we have this uh, rear diffuser you can see it's quite looking nice actually but uh, the side vents uh, they are only for show so there is no air crossing from these vents but the looks uh, gets a bit better so uh, this is a very simple rear look of Saga and uh, the, the, the car comes with the body kit as well so I'll show you uh, from the side what other differences the car has uh, the engine uh, is the same, it's 1.3 automatic 4 speed and uh, it has a manual variant as well but this is an automatic variant premium S model so if you come uh, at the side you can see uh, there is a big box so don't think that it, it's a box where you can put some things this is for uh, the fuel actually uh, but I feel like it's quite big, um, the fender is small but half of the fender is taken by this petrol, the fuel cap. So it has 15 inch alloys, the alloys are already changed. This is a new model alloys. Uh, it has uh, 4 or 5 colors in this saga. So and, and by the way the price is very good for this saga. You can see the side skirt over, over here, the side skirt all the way until the front so it looks it gives a very good uh, side view of the car uh, as you can see over here the door handles the door handle itself now uh, no more uh, key so it's uh, keyless now and the car has a push start so you know congratulations now the saga is with the push start so you can just press this and you know open the door and close it off uh, then we come with uh, piano black mirrors and uh, we have this side signals on the mirror as well the piano black uh, looks very good to me I mean it gives a different shade all over it's red but the mirrors are black uh, if you come if you come to the front uh, I'll show you the daytime running lights with this piano black it looks amazing overall everything is the same bumper but this grill and this uh, below uh, the front skirt you see it's it's nice so this is like uh, matte black this is a gloss black then it's red so the front bumper also has the sensors and when you turn on the headlights uh, headlights are halogen headlights so when you turn turn them on uh, the LED lights goes off because they are daytime running lights so uh, no more only when the halogens are off then you can see those so I mean the front look is as the same they haven't changed anything but uh, the side steps all the skirts so uh, not the side steps sorry the side skirts the front lip and the rear diffuser so these are the additional uh, things in the premium s uh, we talk about some features in the interior let's go and find out what's inside the car okay so these are the door trims uh, the side panel so this is the driver's side door and all the the panel is the same all the controls are over here and uh, the mirrors are retractable mirrors so this is you can put any bottle over here and this is all plastic and when you come to the interior uh, you can see this red shade over here and you can see the push start so again we have push start in this saga premium s and this touch is i don't know how do you look how, how does it look on the vents of uh, to me it doesn't look appealing but i don't know this is my opinion 
uh, this uh, leather wrap steering with the red red trim uh, red stitching overall looks good uh, if i show you the meter uh, it's very simple as usual but if you push it start it let's say we on it see how it shows okay so this is all the information that you are getting on the uh, cluster itself so in the middle you can see the doors are open and the fuel so it's analog plus a bit digital as well let's close it off this is the 7 inch infotainment system over here then we have this red trim uh, below our uh, this is the traction control uh, they have given which is quite good because earlier sagas doesn't have this traction control we have the parking sensors on and off option we have central locking and these are the ac control panels over here uh, this saga has uh, three usb ports and then if you come down you can put two cups over here so this is the gear lever this is the center console panel and if we talk about the seats so i'll show you the seat uh, it's semi leather uh, like half fabric half leather but the outer part of the seats uh, it's all stitched with the red uh, lining so it's quite good i mean it looks good really i don't know how it feels when you are driving the car for long because saga just came out and all the way if you see the left door trim and then the ac vents uh, so this is it this is the interior of the car we have two airbags one on the passenger side one on the driver side then we have two uh, room lights over here this is white led okay and then it's like this so i mean it's quite good uh, so let me know how do you feel like and uh, how is the interior is it good is it better with the push start or not oh if we talk about the engine the engine is 1.3 four cylinder inline engine and uh, uh, this is uh, again uh, you know a very smooth engine and fuel economic engine uh, the the power and the consumption of the fuel is very good with this car uh, additionally they've put this stabilizer bar which uh, is which earlier uh, you know uh, in the earlier sagas there wasn't this bar so now you can see the abs pump is all, also uh, here so the room is quite good this is the power steering where you can put the power steering oil and uh, that's it so the engine bay is quite good quite uh, comfy if you want to work around with this okay so as you can see i cannot fit in this boot because the boot is small and uh, with this car uh, with this price uh, if we compare it in malaysia uh, and we talk about the price uh, we will review a peridua myvi as well and we compare with this saga uh, so peridua myvi costs a lot more than this car this car the cost at the moment is 45000 ringgit so 45000 ringgit means uh, if you convert it wherever you are and it's this car has been launched in Pakistan, Bangladesh or any other country you can convert it to your currency and you get to know but I feel like if you are getting a new car with 45,000 uh, price tag I feel like it's okay because it has safety features it has ABS control, two airbags, traction control it has um, hill assist as well not downhill assist, uphill assist so uh, with all these features I think it's quite good 7 inch infotainment system, 3 USB ports uh, it has AC, alloy rims, 15 inch wheels overall and then you are getting the sport ticket as well. So I summarize the whole thing that uh, with this price tag, for me I feel like if you are getting a new car it won't give you trouble for the next 3-4 years or maybe 5 years if you are, depends on your driving condition. So let me know, uh, I really like this car uh, and uh, 
Uh, I mean, uh, it's uh, the delivery is already started for this car. They are booking the cars. So thank you very much. Uh, please do like and subscribe the channel. Let me know in the comments what other cars you are uh, you want to review. We will be reviewing soon the new upcoming variants of Honda and uh, Toyota as well. Some sports cars as well. So stay tuned. Uh, until then. Thank you very much from Mustache Wheels and the team. See you. Bye-bye. Let's drive.